If you grew up in the 80s, you most likely have watched The Goonies, an American adventure comedy that released in 1985 by Richard Donner, who you might know for his work on the Superman movies featuring Christopher Reeve. The screenplay was written by Chris Columbus, known for directing the Home Alone movie and the story would come from the brilliant mind of Steven Spielberg. The film is about a group of kids who live in the Goondocks neighborhood of Astoria, Oregon. Hence the name Goonies. Not to spoil too much of the movie in case you've never seen it, but in short, they find a treasure map and go on this awesome adventure to find the treasure. Filming would begin on October 22nd, 1984 and last five months. The script for the movie was way too long with over 120 pages. This led to many scenes in the movie being cut, including an octopus scene that is still mentioned at the end of the movie, confusing audiences in the theater wondering how they missed an octopus. In the documentary The Making of the Goonies, Richard Donner would talk about the enjoyments and frustrations of working with child actors. Flick, put it back, look for another one. When he leaves, you found it, you go up to get up to get up. Huh? All right. Yeah. Raise your right hand. Your right hand. You got it. Here we go. You ready? Dick. Huh? Dick, is this time ready? for real? What you gonna do? Dick, this time for real? For real. Okay. And yet, it's probably the most gratifying experience because it's an odd sort of a way. Uh, a lot of their energy and excitement is rubbing off on me. And uh, it's it's very, very, very gratifying. Actually, when you break the script down with a, with a creative group that I got like this, I've got from Mike Riva doing the sets and, and, and Nick McLean on camera and this wonderful crazy group of kids and Spielberg looking over my shoulder all of the time, which I happen to love because I guess he's the biggest kid of them all and comes up with the best ideas. Um, I, I just think there's there's not looking at it and saying I want one particular thing. It's uh, it's all it's all delicious. It's all uh, ice cream dessert for me. They're all uh, every scene seems to be wonderful. I don't like the scenes with the adults. Richard Donner would often use coaching techniques to help the child actors, such as keeping them from seeing One-Eyed Willie's pirate ship, leading to a more genuine reaction. I never let the kids see this boat. They were banned from the stage, from day one, from the start of its construction. And then the day uh, they were supposed to come out of the chute, hit the water, and turn around and see the boat for the first time, they, I brought them all in, not blindfolded, but with their backs to the camera. They all knew what they were going to see, but they had no idea what it was going to look like. And so on film, when they turn and see the boat for the first time... Of course, this trick backfired a bit because the actors were so overwhelmed by the sight of the pirate ship, the scene had to be reshot. The second take would be used in the final release of the film. While Richard Donner was listed as the director, Sean Ashton would claim that Richard Donner and Steven Spielberg were more like co-directors. In the book, There and Back Again, An Actor's Tale, Sean would describe Richard Donner as more of a drill sergeant and Steven Spielberg as a more gentle and whimsical director. Astoria, Oregon would provide many locations for filming. The jail where Jake Fratelli was held was filmed at the old Clatsop County jail which has been turned into an Oregon film museum and opened on the 25th anniversary of the Goonies. It currently houses memorabilia from the film and other movies that were filmed locally. Other locations such as Mike's father's employment was filmed at the Captain George Flawful House Museum. The Walsh family house is a real home on the eastern side of town. The bicycle scenes were filmed in the Ocola State Park and the underground scenes were filmed at a studio in Burbank, California. The final scene of the movie was shot at Goat Rock State Beach in Sonoma County, California. When the film released in 1985, Roger Ebert would give the film three stars out of four and call the film a smooth mixture of the usual ingredients from Steven Spielberg action movies, made special because of the high energy performances of the kids who have the adventures. Currently, the movie has a very good rating on Rotten Tomatoes with a 71% from critics and a whopping 91% from the audience. 
The Goonies would be a success and would gross $9 million in its opening weekend, and to date has grossed over $62 million in United States alone. Over the years, there has been so much back and forth about a sequel with Sean Ashton, stating in 2007 that Goonies 2 is an absolute certainty. The writing's on the wall when they're releasing the DVDs in such numbers. However, Corey Feldman would state in a blog post in 2008 that there would be no Goonies 2. Of course, in 2010 and 2014, director Richard Donner would confirm the movie, stating it will happen. There is even an IMDb listing for the movie, and with the recent success of other 80s movies and shows that have been brought back, this could be a real possibility, but only time will tell. To finish us off, here are some quick facts for your enjoyment. One-Eyed Willie's skull was made from real bone. The makeup for Sloth would take five hours to complete. This was Josh Brolin's big screen debut. Richard Donner can be heard actually giggling off camera during Chunk's ice cream scene. So, see you guys. You never believe If you grew up in a place like me that had no Godfather's pizza, you might have been a little confused at what was being said. Of course, this wasn't helped by the fact that Godfather's pizza was dubbed in later because the original pizza said in the movie was Straw Hat Pizza, and they refused to participate. Thanks for joining me on a brief history of the Goonies. As always, make sure to subscribe, click the notification bell, and follow me on social media. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Rod here with Zavivi Entertainment. Before I get out of here, make sure to check out Digital Break for some awesome content creators. Digital Break is a one hour block on local TV that premiered in April. They are taking talented YouTube creators and airing their content on local TV. So make sure to follow and like their Facebook page. Thanks everyone, I'm out.